chastised the TCEQ for overestimating the amount of VOCs that uh, his industry is emitting. He said the entire nine county non-attainment uh, area was only in, uh, emitting 21 tons per day. But according to the air study that just came out in Fort Worth, Fort Worth alone emits 57 tons per day. That's a pretty big difference. Obviously, the oil and gas industry cannot be trusted to estimate the emissions, what they're emitting. But you know who can be trusted to do that? These people out here, all these people, we're the ones who live and breathe this every day. We're the ones who call and report the releases that industry is supposed to report, but they don't. We're the ones who live with the leaks. So we're the ones who should estimate, and I'll tell you what, it's way too much. So I'd like to know, I know that y'all are not the decision makers, that you're just here to hear us. And we also know that the main decision maker is this guy. And we know that he gets paid really well to protect industry. But I'd like to know if anybody here has read this, Flowback, how the Texas oil and gas, how the Texas natural gas boom affects health and safety. If you've not read it, I have some cards here where you can download the PDF and I'd like for your, to be sure your bosses have this information. TCEQ could, could cut 114 tons per day, per day of these OCs from the natural gas industry and we would have less smog, fewer nosebleeds, fewer rashes, fewer headaches, and other health impacts. We'd have cleaner air. Instead, you're only cutting a measly token 14 tons per day. How are these places alike? Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, and North Texas. They are all experiencing increased ground level ozone caused by or contributed by natural gas drilling. And in all of these places and more, residents suffer health impacts from exposure to toxins and natural gas extraction and production. The just released results from nine air samples collected in gas patches in Colorado and New Mexico found 22 toxic chemicals including four known carcinogens as well as neurotoxins known to damage the nervous system the and they found respiratory irritants. The chemicals detected range, range from three to 3,000 times higher than what is considered safe by state and federal agencies. That's not unlike what we have found here in the Barnett Shale. Some of these chemicals are contributors to ozone. In Argyle, when drilling was just beginning, air testing showed only seven of the 84 contaminants TCEQ tests for. After the drilling boom was well underway, your own testing on the high school band practice lot detected 65 of the 84 air contaminants. So there's no question that this stuff is leaking into our air. We can't even meet the 1997 smog standard and we are rapidly going backward. This year, the ozone violations came earlier than any time in the past five years. Healthy levels are between 60 and 70 parts per billion. In early June, we already had exceedances over 100 parts per billion. There's an elephant in the Barnett Shell passing gas, and your failure to take strong action puts our families at risk. If you can't figure this out, step aside and let the EPA protect us. And that concludes my statement, but... Go ahead. I have a statement um, written by my son. He could not come today because he had a lab with his, for his um, environmental biology class. His name is Adam Barnett, B-A-R-N-E-T-T. -T. I am 16 years old and I have lived in the DFW area all my life. I have never taken one breath of clean air. By not regulating methane releases, 
You are passing your problems to my generation. You are stealing my future.